guys, this is NJ Kelly Gardner. Today I am so happy because we're gonna pot up one of our free trees today. It's been a long time coming and I know a change is gonna come, right? Well, today that change starts today. So stay tuned guys, as we pot up our center with a plum. Stay tuned. Here is what we will be using today. We're gonna be using uh, our reuse potting mix. We're gonna do the soil booster from Green All and EB Stone, same company. Uh, we're gonna use some rock dust. We're gonna mix in some Espen salt, share start for the root system, compost, and a, a little bit of the soil booster on top, and some. Uh, prayer light to mix in to add a little bit more drainage so stay tuned guys hey guys I'm, I'm going to try to make this quick as possible so please stay tuned if I mess up you know charging to my head and not my heart but I already went ahead and uh, merged out the soil without the soil booster in the container we are using a, re a reused potting mix all right guys we're trying to be economical here man save some money you know so and this works um you can use a re, re, reuse your potting mix um if you don't want to go and purchase your soil this is organic um raised bed potting mix i'm using that's uh, also used for fruit trees all right i'm not going to name the uh potting mix uh, uh industry i'm using but it's not miracle grow all right i'm gonna let you know right now it's not miracle. it's organic Organic feet. I got my gloves on here. So let's get started. We're going to be using everything you have seen except the All-purpose Fertilizer liquid feed. All right guys, so let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and mix some of this right now So if I'm in the way, I'm sorry uh, But it's the way I got my camera and I'm just not gonna use all of this because I gotta say some of it because you also gonna be uh using some of this product for our fig trees okay guys so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna ask and this product was the best thing ever we're gonna have, this soy booster already has the uh pumice rock okay or pumice stone but i'm gonna go ahead and get some all right stand back a little bit the perlite mix in here too as well guys and i actually could use some of this uh the wind is blowing, I'm trying to stay back. I could actually use some of this, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, again in our, uh, in our, uh, for our fruit trees again. So, whatever I have left, it can be reused, you know. Um, I hope I'm not in the way. Excuse me if I am. I'm sorry. I apologize. I know you want to get a good look. All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to move the camera and just show you what I have mixed up a little bit. Take my gloves off here. All right. I'm going to try to be fast as possible. So as you can see, all I just did was just had that reused powder mix. I add in our, uh, our uh, sewing booster, as you can see. Bam, there we go. All right, and now we're gonna put up into this 15 gallon container here, right? So I'm gonna put the camera back. Hopefully get a good look. And I got to take my gloves off because I can't, I don't like the gloves right now. So. It's a nice, beautiful day, guys, I mean. The wind is blowing nicely today, it feels good. I'm in a shaded area when I'm doing this. So you wanna, you really want to um, actually do this late evening, early morning. Okay, again, late evening, early morning. And the reason why you don't want your, um, 
you don't want your fruit trees to go in shock, basically go stress. All right. So there we go. I'm gonna back up. I don't want to be in the way. And now I want to see. Take out a tree. And see if we're actually in that spot. Okay, so stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we are leveled. Okay. Um. So what I'm going to do now, we're going to go ahead and use our EB Stone Sure Start. And I'm going to layer. You could have mixed this. And what I did not do was mix this into the soil, which I should have. I'm going to take a little handful here. You can wear your gloves. I took mine off because it was uncomfortable for that minute. Let me use some of our essence salt. And I don't want to. And I'm going to use some of my rock dust. And I should. Okay. You really want like a cup and the wind is blowing so you don't want to breathe this in guys. Don't want to breathe it in, alright? But so now you just wanna go ahead and I'll just I'm not gonna really mess with it, but get the drift. Alright. Bam. So I'm gonna use a little bit more shirt to put on layer back on top so I mix it a little bit in. All right, that's fine. And now, moment of truth, guys. This is the moment of truth. It is actually uh, removing it from this nursery container here. The five gallon nursery container. So let's do this. We're going to tilt it, and I'm going to get my stuff out the way because I got two more products I got to use. All right. I'm going to get on my knees here not to damage the tree. We're gonna try to pull it out. There we go. It's not that hard without damaging the roots. And I wanna make sure I don't hit the tree. But, see that guys? It's not even root bound, stressed out a little bit, or anything of that nature. And we're gonna go ahead and place it there and it's actually leveled properly. So, <clears throat> so I just hope you can see that very well. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. And so now, we're gonna go ahead and continue to just fill it in, guys. So stay tuned. Well, guys, we're back and I'm out of breath. So I'm getting my workout out. My workout. My work. I'm getting my exercise on. Working out. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? So, the last thing. Recap. We use our rock dust. We use our sure start. We use our soy booster over here. We used um, extra salt. We mixed it all in. Um, combined it. We're good to go, right? So, the last thing is basically making sure that you layer it with compost on top not just in the bottom I mean, not just mixed in some people say don't you don't have to mix your compost in with your soil your soil that's okay fine and good right well with me i like to do both um i mean got moss i'm i'm sorry y'all but a moth is a mop citrus tree and i don't like that so we're gonna i gotta handle that within within a few weeks um but anyway you want to go ahead and layer the top of compost. Once you do that compost in, mulch. And so we're going to put our remaining compost in, as such. Boom. And I already added some on top already. All right. Then we're going to 
place our moat. Excuse me, y'all, for one minute. Y'all, I'm sorry, but that thing was getting on my nerves. Um, we got we got a big problem with that. I'm gonna take care of that soon. Anyhow, y'all, I'm sorry. Um, back to the show. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and we did that at our compost. Then you can go ahead and add some more rock dust in between in the in the in the outer area. I forgot the word the wording of it, guys, but charge it to my head and at my heart. Then we're gonna go ahead and place our mulch on top. And I already um watered it in already, but you want to go ahead and water. Um, once you water, add your compost. Go ahead and water her in because I already did it already and I was going to show you an example. And this is a standard tree, I believe. I don't think it's a grafted on uh center was a plum. It didn't say it had a label link on it, it just said center was a plum, so I believe it is a standard. Um the best yo know, your fruit trees to get the best fruit trees to get um as a side note is the semi dwarf or dwarf. If you're grown in a home garden, um, because they could get up to 20 feet tall, guys. That's the truth. So add your mulch, your your which is considered your your your, your wood chips, and your uh, your leaves. Okay, guys, and this helps to um, basically keep your soil moist. Um, also keeps your tree warm, okay? Um, the outer perimeter of your tree warm, so you warm, moist, but also gives nutrients the mycorrhiza and all those things back into the soil, and also it turns the soil, okay, guys? So that's what one people don't. Some people don't know. You'll know your soil is healthy. I'm gonna repeat this again. You'll know your soil is healthy when you um, see mushrooms growing in the and growing out of the soil. All right. That's another indication indication that your soil is healthy. Now we already saw that in my raised beds. All right. So you wanna go ahead and take and make sure you have well nutrient soil. Once you wanna make sure that you also do your foil feeding and using your fish fertilizer or fish emulsion liquid feed by weekly, you will have no problems, guys. All right. So, this is NJ Cali Gardener. I thank you all for tuning in today. And remember, you're destined for greatness. Like, subscribe, and hit the notification button, guys. Until next time, NJ Cali Gardener say, I'm out.